Right, you got real weird at me, bud. Rantaro, with your, your delightful little voice, you got real weird at me. Okay, so it looks like this is gonna be... Oh, what the fuck? Interesting. It looks like this is gonna be blocked off. End of hallway. Oh, it's not! Oh, interesting. It's just like a new interesting... Interesting, I say. Okay. Oh god, I actually really don't like both of those being up. It's very hard to see one beneath the other. Oh, we're so fucking fast. What's this way? Oh! What? What's this? Can't get in here, huh? Interessant. There's a little, little outside inside area that I'm not allowed to access because of reasons. Those rat bastards and their reasons. Classroom A. Cool. All right, let's go. Is this where? No, this was. A oh! Oh, many a friend is hey. in here. Oh, hi, purple. Okay, purple, you have more defining features than you did before. What was your... Your southern. Hey, wait for me. Nailed it. Please stop. Now, let's talk about you. Okay. Ooh, you need a voice, bud. Oh, baby boy, you need a voice. My love, my everything, you need a voice. You do seem to be, hey, here's something. You're a robot. Here's a thing, kind of is a robot. Hello. Um, oh, you need a voice so bad. Oh no, I don't know if I can do you. you. This was the only one in the first lineup when they were like all boring looking. That was the first one that I was like. This one's good. Yeah, what? What is it? Oh, hi. I thought that that was a suggestion for what to do with the voice. And I was like, like G.I. Joe? Like G.I. Joe? I don't know a G.I. Joe voice. What's your voice? Speak to me. I mean, should you just get like a weird hero voice? Did you get a weird hero voice? Because you look like you're dressed like an army commando. And so you might get my douchebaggy hero voice. Teen? This is a game of- what kind- they're all teens! <laughs> what does teen sound like? <laughs> all of them are teens! <laughs> I don't know if one of them- and like, if we're talking about like, cat- like normal anime voices, our main guy and the main girl are, have both have like stereotypical teenage anime voices, so that- those are already scooped up. So far, we've got... Right, we've got... Our main character, who just sounds like any anime girl that you've ever seen, ever! Uh... And you have your teenage boy that just sounds like kind of like Ash Ketchum, like every boy in any anime has ever sounded. Uh... What else? Who else do we have? Oh, we've got... <laughs> we've got the child, the, like, the really... The, the small one that sounds like... Ever see Full Metal Jacket? Yes, but not, not in a way that I can remember, you know? Uh, like I can remember bits of it. I can't remember specific people. Um. Oh, we got the little glasses going. It's got a little ooh voice. We need the shouting guy. The shouting guy from that. Don't stop. No, I don't think that I can literally shout the whole time. That's gonna be a bad vibe for everyone. I mean, that's kind of, I get mad. I feel like I might just do hero voice for this one. I might do cat, like stereotypical hero and like, yes. Is this guy possibly gonna end up being the worst? Yeah, but that's what most of the people that gain the hero voice are. So, well, fuck it. Let's put you down on the list. Well, actually, no, I'll wait till you say your name and then I'll put you down on the list. 
No, please stop! Don't come any closer! Nailed it. <laughs> that boy in white chasing that other boy in the funny clothes. Oh, is chasing the boy in the funny clothes. What's happening here? Tight. <laughs> Let's talk to all. Look at all the things. Okay, well, we've seen all these, but they give me levels. Unless these ones don't for some- Why does this not give me levels? Oh, I see a secret message. Inter there was a- What is with this secret message if I look through my, my Amazo vision? Interesting. Okay, the barbed wire windows. Interessant. The all meanie, I see. Uh, let's see if we can smash anything. Smash it. <gasps> we can smash everything. We can smash- All the chairs can go absolutely F themselves. Chairs can get right out of here. Chairs can get the most out of here anything has ever got. I don't need chairs. I don't require chairs for learning. Some of the tables leave as well. Interesting. Why only some? Oh no, maybe they all do. Yeah, they all do. Never mind. I just had to free them of their chair shackles. I'm glad that I've come into this room and ruined everything for everyone. Oh, secret chair. Secret chair? Horrifying. Alright, um, let's talk to you first. Let's... Oh god. Come on, wait up! <laughs> Let me touch your body a little. I've always wanted to be friends with a robot. Huh? Oh no. Okay, you're wearing some things. I'm gonna guess you're some kind of chef. Maybe like a... Maybe like a Lion's Chef kind of thing. You look like you might be some kind of chef. You've got some... Like chef kind of fatigue... Like, not fatigue. They got like a chef's thing and like the, the checker print pattern. I'm gonna guess some kind of culinary dweebus. What is it? Oh, what? A robot? What is it? Are you another robophobe? That's enough. I have a recording function. If you make any robophobic remarks, I will see you in court. Hey, are you a robot? Are you just ultimate robot? Are you just the ultimate robot? If so, chef's kiss. Fantastic. No notes. Are you a robot? Are you, like, for reals a robot? N no. Are you one of the monocles? Please stop. Do not compare me to those toys. I am not just any old robot. I am K1B0, the ultimate robot. But please, address me as Kibo. Yeah, I, I assumed that that was gonna happen. Um, right, let's put, where's, uh, Kibo. Hey, Kibo. Kibo, ultimate robot. Um, ultimate robot? Hmm. That's not fair! You can't be the only one who gets to show off! I'll introduce myself too. Yeah. Um, go ahead. I'm Kokichioma, the ultimate supreme leader. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, what does that mean? Uh-oh. This could get very bad very fast. You're gonna have to real explain real fast, buddy. We're gonna have to do an explanation, and we're gonna need that now. A robot and a supreme leader. Neither of them make any sense. By the way. No, I need you to explain better than this. I need you to explain better than this. Because it's feeling very, um, uh, 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 non democratic. <laughs> it's feeling. It's given me some, uh, non democratic. No, 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 non democratic vote vibe. <laughs> Alright. Okay, let's deal with you then. Uh, by the way, I learned the hard way that a robot's breath smells like gasoline. How rude! My breath does not smell like gasoline. I am powered by electricity. <laughs> I was just kidding. That is not you funny. are. You are not funny. You are not a funny person. Right? Of course you don't think I'm funny. Robots can't understand human humor to begin with. Do not mock me. I've studied the complete history of stand-up comedy. Kibo, I might love you. Hey, Kibo. 
Hi, Kipo. You're cute and I like you. Hey, I like you. You've got a Castiel from Supernatural kind of vibe for me right now. And that, that's everything to me. Hey, do I glom onto characters that are kind of coded autistic? Who knows? I'm in love. Oh yes, no spoilers, please. <laughs> please, no spoilers. I have never played these games before. Well, I played the first, well, I played, well, no, I watched the first one, played the second one, never seen anything to do with this one. So I don't want to know anything. Spoilery. Okay, I like you. <laughs> I think you should have just watched stand-up com comedy instead of studying it. He studied it! I will hear nothing against this angel. Until he turns out to be a douchebag. Um... Plus, I may have the appearance of a robot, but I am a high school student just like you. Huh? You're a high school student? Yeah. I was created by Professor Adab Ad Itabashi? 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 Itabashi. Let's try. The leading authority in the field of robotics. He instored, installed in me a strong AI, capable of learning and maturing like a human brain. That's why, at the time of my creation, I didn't know anything. I was like a baby. I am so worried that you're gonna die, bud. I'm so worried that you're gonna die, bud, and there's gonna it's gonna be hard to do it because it's like some like like it'd be like some robot stuff. Or there'll be like you might be a murderer because it will be like, oh, you need to like you need to pass through here. And then but you and but like people can't pass through, but maybe he can because he's got a robot body. I don't know. I'm worried about you. <laughs> okay, Kibo. But but the professor raised me like I was his own child. What pronouns do you use? Any pronouns. Do I have any specific ones today? Let's think. No. <laughs> the pronouns for today are meh. <laughs> All pronouns good. Whichever ones make you feel comfy or happy. Other days I might have a preference today. Eh. <laughs> He taught me so many things until finally enrolled me in high school. How about this? And now I stand here before you all. See? Just like everyone else. I like you. Hey, do robots have dicks? I, I don't think I like you, Kikichi. Hey, Kikichi. I don't think we're gonna have a lifelong friendship. Hey! Please do not ask ridiculous questions. <laughs> I only ask because your backstory is pretty flaccid for a robot, but um, doom chitch, it was a joke. <laughs> you are the worst, maybe. Well, I can see how being a robot might be enough to be called the ultimate robot. Um, uh, hey, Kikichi, I don't really understand your ultimate supreme leader talent. Neither do I, and I'm scared to find out. Oh no, I might like him again. <laughs> Oops, we might have gone back. Scoozy? God, of course there's one. There's always one. There's always one. There's always one that's like, I'm the head of some giant garbage organization that's going to ruin the world. And they always survive to the end. They always survive to the end, so we're just gonna have to deal with him, I guess. It literally, like, there's always one, because it was, was, like, like, baby, it was baby, um, <laughs> baby mobster in the last one, and in the first one, it was shithead McGillicuddy, who I ended up liking, what the fuck was his name? What the fuck was his name? It's been a while. It's been a whole while. Then he was slash wasn't in the second game. We thought that it was him, but it wasn't. I'm the head of the da da da, da. head of the t t -na t -na No. What the fuck was his name? Anyway, um, they all they have one. Biakia, <laughs> Biakia. I remember Biakia. Okay, I remember Biakia. Okay, we're back. I ended up liking Biakia. <laughs> Stupid Biakia. <laughs> he was the worst. I really hated him, but he was very funny. Um, that's a good sprite even conversation about my roster. Uh, yes, you missed two voice assignments. We've got, um, 
Uh, the we've got a robot who just has general hero voice. I might like the robot. He reminds me a little bit curse, currently of um, uh, Castiel uh, from um, uh, Supernatural, by which I mean coded as autistic. <laughs> so that's good. <laughs> oh lord. Um. And Mondo! Oh, Mondo! Oh, Mondo! Oh, Mondo. Anyway, uh, you also, uh, well, Kokichi, we already have, this was kind of purple one from before, who gave a southern accent. Um, and we have found out that he is the supreme leader of an evil secret organization. That's all. Also, ju just as like a little addendum, I just need it to be known that Supernatural pissed me off again because it forgets its own lore so easily, but I don't forget. I never forget. I do not forget. In one of the seasons, Castiel was blasted with knowledge of literally every piece of pop culture that exists. He was given the knowledge of every piece of pop culture in existence from books to tv shows to films and they've forgotten that again and he doesn't remember it all and i'm pissed about that anyway anyway kakichi <laughs> what i just think that it's nice that i remember something for <laughs> Is it useless information about a TV show and my favorite character on that TV show? Who's a sweet autistic little bean? Yes. Don't worry about it. Huh? Uh, what? Um... I gotta say, it's pretty impressive. My organization has over 10,000 members. Uh -huh. huh? Seriously? The supreme leader of an evil secret organization- Because I'm a liar. I'm a liar, after all. Are you the ultimate liar? I sween to bean. I sween to bean, Kikichi. You're making it hard to like you, fucking Kikichi. Huh? So you were lying just now? It's true. Well, I am the supreme leader of an e it's evil secret organization. That part is true. Jeez. So were you lying or not? <laughs> I'm not telling you. Hey. Uh, by the way, what's the name of that organization? Thank you. My name is Isbe. I do voice acting. Hire me. Thank you. Hire me. Thank you. Hire me. Thank you. <laughs> I... He did ask some shit. Some, I don't... Also don't know what any of these mean together. He's looking for kisses? Is this... Is this looking for kisses? <laughs> anyway. Uh, by the way, what's the name of that organization? Ah. Uh, it's a secret, you know, because it's a secret organization. But... I I've never heard of a large secret organization like that. Chuichi, I'm going to blast you off the side of the building. Ah, chef's kiss. <laughs> Stupid. Um, Chuichi, I'm going to blast you off the side of the building. Secret organization, Chuichi. Secret. Shuichi? Secret. Shuichi? Secret. Okay? Um... I do like the evil dude with the southern accent. That's very good. <laughs> oh! Is it like supposed- is it normally just like a chef? Because all I see is a, a boy face and then next to it a frying pan that I did think was a, a, a magnifying glass and then a kiss. <laughs> Anyway. Maybe. Of course you haven't. That's cause it's a secret organization! Jeez. Everything you said so far sounded like a lie, so that's gotta be a lie too, oh right? Dear. Just leave him alone. Everything he has been saying has been a lie. Ah, oh, was the MV chef. Ah. <laughs> yeah. He's a far more suspicious person than I am, that's for sure. Kibo, now that's a very suspicious thing to say, Kibo. <laughs> well, of oh no, that's not your voice. Well, of course you're not a suspicious person, cause robots aren't people, silly. <laughs> you mad? 
Oh, you mad. You gonna hit me with a rocket punch? I can't. I don't have that function. Oh. oh man, you're boring. What a weird boy. He's like a mischievous little kid. Maybe because we're all teenagers. <laughs> this is no time to be joking around, unless he really is an evil supreme leader. Oh good! A friendship fragment! <laughs> Fantastic! Um, let's give Kiba some kisses first. I... I may have the appearance of a robot, but I am a high school student just like you. From one high school student to another, I hope we can all get along. I'm disappointed. Who cares? Oh, who creates a robot without a rocket punch? Why do you even exist? Okay. Bye. I'll see you later. Okay, where are we? Oh. Oh. Okay, I want to go- Oh, God. I'm so turned around here. Okay. I want to get into this magic secret central room. I need to get into this magic secret central room. Uh, but there is a little around way, which is where I want to go first. Ah! The Yim! What the fuck? Huh? It says, Ancient Passport. Is this some kind of decoration? Hmm. I don't know. There's an indent in the middle. I wonder what that is. Well, let me say. This place seriously has a lot of weird stuff. Okay, let's go. This Ancient Passport. Is this some kind of decoration? This for? Oh, is this for the middle room? No. Hmm, interesting. Oh, is this gonna be where we do the trials? That might right. be where we do the trials. There's a big central room that we don't have any information about. And it's keeping it secret from us because obviously we've not played any of the previous games and we know nothing about the fact that we're gonna murder everyone. <laughs> I want in one of these games to be allowed to murder everyone. Oh! Are these us? Oh, they are! What's my name again? What's my name again? Oh, I'd forgotten my name. Anyway, let's go to the gym. <laughs> Is this the gym? Hmm. What's the matter? Oh, what's the matter, Su Shuichi? No. Uh, it's nothing. I just feel strange. Um, strange? How so? Uh, okay. Like deja vu? Like like I've been here before. Could it be? We might we might be caught up in something even stranger than we imagined. Hmm. Well, it's natural to feel unsettled when we know so little about what's going on. Yeah. We'll probably be fine. Um. What makes you say that? Because because we have sixteen ultimate students on our side. As long as we work together as friends, I just know that so nothing bad will happen. Friends? Not with you, though. Probably not friends with you, though. I kind of wish you would stop following me around. <laughs> yeah, I like Chihiro. Oh, no, which one was Chihiro again? I remember the name, but I also... It's been a while since I played the games. I can't remember. What was... What was Chihiro's ultimate? Hi, creepy. Um, where am I going? I go to money room. This little central area is a lot. The stairs here. It looks like it goes to the basement. Shuichi, do you want to head down? Oh, from the first game. From the first game. Was that the one from the first game that, that became a computer? If so, yes. If so, I really liked your hero. Oh, I like them so much. We're, we, around these parts, we use they, them pronouns because the game got really confusing about gender and identity and seemed to be very upsetting. So, they, them pronouns for my angel. 
I don't know. The basement might be dangerous. This place is full of mysteries. That's right. And let's proceed with caution with you at the front. Uh, okay. There's life just, I just, they're everything. I love them. They're very good. And I wanted to give them sweet little kisses. Justice for Chihiro. Justice for Chihiro. Uh, so I'm in front. I see. With hesitant, uh, with hesitant Shuichi leading the way, we carefully made our way down the stairs. I also, uh, I, I headcanned the shit out of that one because, so like for those for those that didn't, oh, um, we can deal with that in a second. Um, oh, sorry. Okay. Um, for those that didn't know the the first one, it got uh very cisgender people writing trans characters. And very confusing about it, but essentially the 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 girl we were introduced to was Chihiro. The twist in one of them was that she was a boy. Now this was because, as a character, that it was like, oh, this character was often mistaken as a girl, and so lived their life as a girl and was told that they were girly so did that in order to stop getting shit for actually being a boy and that felt not like anything <laughs> that felt like nothing so, and, but because they didn't like let this character have any kind of like Real, real trans experience. I don't want to put any. I don't want to put a, a a she, her, or a he, him on them because like, there's really nothing there. Um, but uh, uh, one of the the things in it was one of the characters just would not disclose that um, like that this was a quote unquote twist. <laughs> Uh, so that was very good for me. Uh, and I really liked this one character who was willing to die. They were willing to die in order to be like, no, I'd say shit. This is none of your fucking business. <laughs> and it was very good for me. <laughs> Thank God. It was some kind of bury your gaze shit. But like, again, like... The language that they used around it was wildly problematic. <laughs> it was wildly, wildly some like, like all throughout, Chihiro was referred to as she, her. And then when they're like, oh, Chihiro was born as a boy. They were like, he, him. But the backstory that they gave made it kind of sound like Chihiro wanted to be a boy, but was, seen as a girl so it was some fucking it was some fucking like that could have been a nice like like an interesting like like story if not for the fact that it was definitely written by some cisgender people who had no idea what they were doing with that character uh and just wanted a fun actually this one's got a dick fucking storyline <laughs> Um, but I did very much enjoy this one character who was genuinely just sitting there being like, yeah, sure, kill me, idiots. I ain't fucking saying shit. This is not your goddamn business. And that's why I got one of my favorite characters. No, <laughs> thank you so much for following. I hope you enjoyed the stream. I don't know what the auto mod is up to these days. It's getting annoying. Anyway, where are we at? Ugh. Can I get out of here? Uh, uh, she was like, oh, it doesn't look very scary down here. Uh, well, uh, some dangers are hidden where you can't see. see. Chuichi, you have quite the imagination, don't you? No. No, I just think you're not considering how dangerous this is. <laughs> yeah, maybe. But we should have a look around the basement, too. Right? There might be an exit. Oh, but we should be careful. Uh, okay. Yeah, you're right. Oh, cool. A library and a game room. Why so far am I the only one with my own, like, room? Like, we've got the piano room, but I've not seen, like, a room that's for anyone else. Anyway. Hey, room. Mmm. <sighs> huh? 
Oh, you got like a little, you got like a little hat thing going on. What's your deal? I'm so scared for what your deal is gonna be, friend. It looks like a game room. But this is a school, right? Is it normal for a school to have its own game room? Well. It certainly is strange. Cool. <laughs> I'm very scared. Okay. Um. Always check the monitors because it gives us level up opportunities. Um. Is that it? Who's your favorite character? And all of them, Sakura. It's a oh no. It's joint between Sakura and Gundam. It's joint between Sakura and Gundam. They're the two best characters in the world, and I love them. <laughs> this is the du the dude with the deepest voice is now also a, a, a emo. Oh, t don't let me no. Oh, what? Oh, that's not how you leave. Hmm. It looks like it's locked. Yeah. I wonder what's inside this room. I hope we can investigate it later. So do I. All right. Hello. I don't know your name Please yet. No. You do have a low voice. Excellent. I, your one big eye is actually scaring me right now. It's too much. <laughs> it's a bit too much. Okay. Sheesh, what a strange place. Okay. What's your deal? Like another, uh, would you be another ultimate biker kind of person? The, right, my my initial thing, weirdly, is that like his, the the little thing on his hat looks like, I don't know why, but to me it makes me think of handcuffs. So I'm very scared that this is gonna be like a weird kind of ultimate cop kind of bastard. Uh, ow, right. I've definitely got a. There's been a needle just trapped in my floor for a long time, and it, I keep spiking my foot on it. <gasps> I will not- Hi, I'm sorry, but your opinions on Gundam are wrong. I understand that opinions cannot be wrong, but Gundam is literally the best character that's maybe ever happened. So I can't- I can't come with you on this journey. Gundam is fantastic. <laughs> Gundam is literally everything to me. <laughs> he was so much, and for what? He had terrible he had hamsters! Oh, fantastic. Anyway. When I heard we were trapped here, I didn't expect we'd have a game room. Um, are we really trapped in here? There must be an exit, right? You've still got a ways to go. Isn't that what you were, you guys are walking around looking for? Then, figure it out yourself. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. However, We may be trapped, but it's pretty cool here. Compared to prison, anyway. It, was I right about the handcuffs, but he's like the ultimate jailbird? Excuse me? To be fair, I fell in love with Gundam immediately. Immediately. His hair is ice cream. Okay. And also, he's the sweetest boy, and I love him. Anyway, I'm so scared about whatever is going to happen here. Huh? Prison? What? But you're an ultimate student, aren't you? That's an old story. This side-on looking at a child smoking is not it. <laughs> That's an old story. Ryoma Hoshi, the man called the ultimate tennis pro, no longer exists. They were tennis rackets. Scoozy, scoozy, excusey, excusey. Ryoma, where, where are you? This is, this is a lot for me to deal with, but that's fine. 
You did call it. This is insanity. Okay. I'm nothing more than his empty shell. All right. Ah! Your eyes are so spooky. <gasps> Ria Omohoshi, really? I've seen you in the newspaper. The tennis prodigy who single-handedly took down a mafia. What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? No. What do you mean? No. Incorrect. No. Huh? You took down a mafia by yourself? If I remember correctly. The... <sighs> it's going to be really hard to read this. The paper said he shot them through the head with his tennis skills and an iron ball. That, I don't think that you shoot them through the head with that. I think that you've bludgeoned them to death. I think that you've bludgeoned them to death. That's not shooting them through the head. An iron ball? That's bludgeoning someone. <laughs> See you later, Dad. Thanks for coming along. What the hell? Really? <laughs> you know about... You know, you know that much already. Well, what do you think of the loser before you who used his talent to kill? Um, but why would you throw away your future like that? Jeez. <laughs> Because I didn't need a future anymore. Huh? Huh? No. It's nothing. It's not like me to talk so much. More importantly... Anyway, I'm warning you. It's dangerous to walk up on a killer like me. Christ, I'm not... It's nap time for you. For sure it's nap time. For sure it's nap time for you. As he said that, he turned his back to us. Oi, oi, oi. Oh, good. <laughs> this gumpy little butt. You should listen when people give you warnings. I won't say it again. I'm just really quickly gonna see if he will say it again. I'm just gonna really quickly see if he will say it again. Hey! He's in a different position, so maybe he won't. Hey, Ryoma. <laughs> yeah, I know he was. Just hey, will you not say it again? Oh, it seems like actually you're in a dialogue loop. Actually, it seems like you're in a dialogue loop. So maybe you'll say it as many times as I want you to say it. Anyway, let's see what things I can smash. Hey, I know that you're like an ultimate tennis murderer or whatever. Um, but I'm here to smash everything that I see. I hope that that's cool with you, my bud. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> I did save before I did it, though. I had some forethought. I would like it to be well known that I had a little bit of... I just- I- I- I covered my bases. Oh, wait, what? What? This wasn't even marked on the map. Huh? Um... What's wrong? Um... The door barely opens a crack. Was it poorly built? I see. Well, nothing we can do about it. Let's search somewhere else. What? It's not even marked on the map. That's very spooky and I hate it. It's real spooky and I hate it, actually. Lebrare. Oh, hello. Oh, it's the Twin Tails. Uh, as soon as I opened the door, I suddenly gagged from the smell of musty old book. Musty smell of old books. I can read. Hmm. Is this a library? You're right. There are books all over the place. It doesn't seem very organized. <gasps> Oh, does that bother you? Are you a neat freak, Chuichi? No. No, it's just I was wondering if someone was using it before us. Huh? Huh? Someone? No. It's nothing. Well, let's just go investigate for now. Moving ladder. This looks like a ladder for reaching books on higher shelves. Hot. Right, let's look at the globe. A blue, beautiful globe. <laughs> Middle bookcase. Books written in various languages line the shelf. 
You want this hat? <laughs> uh, some of these letters make no sense. What languages are these supposed to be? Is this the same? Oops, no, I don't want to look at the bat ladder again. Back bookcase. These books seem difficult to read. They're not even written in a language I recognize. I'm not going to bother with them. Front bookcase. There are a lot of books crammed in here. They're all in different languages, too. Is anyone supposed to take a book off the shelf when they're crammed in like this? Interesting. They're all in different languages. Interesting. This person might be an ultimate student, too. Maybe I should talk to her. Yeah, I know. I was just looking. I was just looking. Oh. Welcome back. Uh, okay. Okay, let's... We could be- yeah, right! We might know what we're doing. Okay. Hello! You are down as emo twin- oh, yeah. The uh, twin tail. Okay, you got a little emo voice, don't you? Okay. You have- ooh, what's that? There's a little- Right, the thing about her hair clip is all I can see in it is one of those like S's that you used to draw in your like in your like high school books when like you with, with like the lines and you can light up the lines and it makes an S. That's literally all I can see. Therefore, I think ultimate graffiti artist. <laughs> ultimate graffiti artist. It does also look like an infinity maybe. Um, maybe a polyglot. Maybe can, yeah, maybe we can speak all languages. That would be cool. Um, also might be DNA strand. No, that's not what a DNA strand would look like on this. Anyway, Polyglot's a pretty good one. <laughs> hey, are you an ultimate student too? Okay. Yeah, that's right. That's it? Eh, she doesn't talk much. I... I'm Kaede uh, Akamatsu. I'm the ultimate pianist. I'm... <laughs> I'm Shuichi Saihara. I'm the ultimate detective, I suppose. Ultimate nerd. Please. <laughs> Please, not suppose. You are the ultimate detective, okay? Uh, okay. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> um... And what about you? Maki Harukawa. Ultimate child caregiver. Not! Even close to what I expected. So like an ultimate, like, like, nanny? <laughs> okay. Sure. I mean, sure. Sure, whatever. <laughs> Maki Harukawa, the ultimate child caregiver. I don't know what that could mean in this context. Like, what does that mean? What does that mean? Like, what in what in what meth what way? Okay. Ultimate child caregiver, huh? <sighs> Surprised. I don't look like someone who'd look who'd like kids, do I? Huh? That's right. Well, you'd be right. I don't like kids that much. Well, then you're not really this then. Um, if you're the ultimate child caregiver, the children must like you a lot, right? I don't care. Kids are weird. They come to me on their own. I'm not that good of taking care of them. I'm not that friendly either. Mm-hmm. But they say kids are intuitive if they like you that much. Hey. Uh, then they can probably tell how loving you really are, Mackie. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that must be it. You've chosen a perfect career for yourself. That's wrong. It wasn't my choice to begin with. Huh? What do you mean by that? So what? Nothing. It's just, I grew up in an orphanage and got saddled with helping out a lot. Orphanage, huh? I see. Um... By the way, do you know anything about the Moto Cubs? Shuichi. Hey, Shuichi. Actually, not the time. Hey, Shuichi, you know what is not? It's not the time. Oh, tragic! How about these fucking... How about these fucking bears, though? Hey, that must have sucked. The system is rigged against you! How about these bears, though? We work in a system which ultimately leaves these children to fend for themselves! How about these bears? Fuck off, Shuichi! 
It's not your time! Yeah, that's right. Yeah, someone's gotta be controlling them, right? Any idea who it might be? Like I'd know. How would I know? Hmm. Fair point. The mono cubs are definitely involved in our situation. Got a minute? Hey, boy detective. Shouldn't you have figured that what's uh, what's going on already? Huh? What? Um Well, he's a detective, not a god. He can know everything. Yeah. I mean, who cares about some stuffed animals? Escaping this place is way more important. Well... Seriously? You think we can escape? Abducting ultimates from across the country would require massive resources and planning. What makes you think a group capable of that would just let us walk out of here? That's not true. If they won't end this, then we will. I know we can do it if we work together. What? Work together with strangers. You're a naive fool if you think you can end this so easily. We, I'm glad that we pre-picked this voice. We did good. Friendship. <laughs> Mackie's report card. Hey, Mackie. I like you. Hmm? Our conversation finished, she quickly headed out of the library. Hmm. That was kind of odd. She didn't seem like the ultimate child caregiver. Jeez. Don't say that. Why are you such a douche? Okay. I guess we leave now. Goodbye! Okay, is that all for here? That is all for here. Back up the stairs. Oh. Right, Russian fire, completely deep voice, the ooh, ooh, a lot of these real fit. A lot of the voices just magic fit. Okay, we went to classroom A. Um, shoot, where do we go now? Oh, this is open. Oh, we couldn't get through here before, right? Looks like the iron gate opened. Did someone open it for us? Let's check it out. We found it, wait. Oh, wait, yeah, there's some people that we don't have yet. Oh, is this the entrance hall? Right, Shuichi? This must be the entrance hall, don't you think? Uh, okay. Yeah, I suppose so. Hey. Which means... Oh! Mm -hmm. The door must be the entrance. If we walk through it, we can escape this place, right? No. I don't think we should open doors carelessly. It could be a trap. Do not Okay, I have some words and some worries. I have some words and some worries. First, oh my. Second, ultimate safe cracker. Ultimate safe cracker. Oh, is this Mr. Mustard? Are we gonna Mr. Mustard on this boy that I'm in love with a little bit? Ultimate safe cracker. Look at, like, this, there's a little safe cracking thing on it. I think it's ultimate safe cracker. I mean, he's also got, like, a little thing, so maybe ultimate... Tactician, ultimate, like, sh like, shot? I don't know. Oh, it might be ultimate sniper, because he's got, like, a thing to, to, to do his breathing. Ooh, it might be ultimate, like, sniper or something like that. My worries are that he's got his bandaged hands. He did a fun hot boy thing? Mm, maybe fun hot boy. What other voices do we have that we were gonna do? Um, the, 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 the worst is hands are bandaged, and I remember, um, who is the one that I hated from the last game? Mikan. If he has any relation to Mikan, we're, we're done. What other things could you have, though? There's too much- what do you- what, what do you mean too much going- what's too much about this? What's too much about this? Too much about this? Can't imagine that to be true. Mm. Oh wait, one second. Oh. 
I mean, you do have yellow eyes, which is a Mr. Mustard kind of staple, huh? Worried about that isn't necessary! I've already examined the doors. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, oh, uh... Yes. God. You wonder, who is this? Yes, I shall make that clear first! I'm not doing as gravelly as Mr. Mustard because I don't want to ruin my voice. My name is Koregio Shinguji. I am called the Ultimate Anthropologist. <laughs> if we're wondering if this is my new Gundam, maybe! If this is- this might be my new Gundam. You look wild, your thing is wilder still. Connected with this. Fantastic. Good. My name is- oh, I was not listening to how you pronounce your name. Korikio? I wasn't listening. Why does my brain never listen when people say names? It has never once listened when people say names. I don't think I know anyone's name. I've had to add, like, I do, I don't know names. It's so unfortunate. Would you do a Scots voice? I could try, for this or for a different one? We could do it, we could do a Scottish voice for another one. Weirdly enough, I'm better at Irish than I am at Scottish, but I can practice trying to be Scottish. Uh, my name is Corikio. I forgot how to say my name. <laughs> I am called the Ultimate Anthropologist. I love you. Hmm. Rikio, anthropologist? Oh. Please. Oh, that's what I can do better. Mentally light up a future character? Will do. <laughs> Please call me Kyo. As for anthropology, would you like a simple explanation? I see. Uh, okay, sure. Anthropology is... <laughs> Anthropology studies customs, legends, folktales, songs, and much more. There may even be customs in your daily life, the origins of which you do not know. Let's see. For example, certain aspects of birthday or New Year celebrations. Do you want to hear my favorite thing that I want to know? That a lot of like anthropologists and shit want to know? Or like historians and shit? The thing that I'm so obsessed with is the thing from like there's another thing that goes with the salt and pepper shaker they found old salt and pepper shakers but there was always a third thing in like Britain I think it was specifically Britain there's just a third thing that people would have at table because like you know if you're at a table, they bring you out the salt, they bring you out the pepper. There used to just be a third thing that they would always bring you out with meals. But it was so mundane that no like, cause normally they figure out shit like that because people write about them. But if you're writing your diary, imagine you write a diary every day. Are you sitting there being like, and then I used my, th my, th and then I put some salt on from my salt shaker and some pepper on from my pepper shaker. Vinegar, like they think that it's like a mill thing. Like it was like another mill. Like it's another mill, like a salt mill and a pepper mill and a yeah! mill. What was it? Yeah, but like this is like oldie timings. This is oldie timings and a mill. I just don't know what it is. I just don't know what it is. And I want to know so badly, but so do historians. Like the instructions for making concrete? What? Tell me more. Need more things to be obsessed with. Uh, why isn't this? Oh. For example, certain aspects of your birthday or New Year's celebrations. Anthropology sheds light on traditions and customs such as these through rigorous analysis. It's a study that examines the thought behind culture, faith, and customs. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, I sort of get it, but not really. <laughs> it sounds like a lot of fun, though. That's correct. Well, of course it's fun. It's a study focused on humanity. 
beautiful. You're beautiful. Oh, I'm in love a little bit. Oops. Do I like this femboy? You know I do. You know I do. You know I like this femboy. Look at this, like, coquettish. We're coquettish. And this is our voice form. <laughs> coquettish we are. Hi. Okay. I believe that human beings are creatures who possess infinite beauty. Um, oh, um... I... I find all aspects of humanity, even the ugly parts, to be beautiful. They were like, mix as much water, and for ages they are like, how do you make this? It's not working. Someone's like, try seawater. <gasps> oh, interesting. Interesting. That's so that's so cool. I like that a lot. Uh our present situation is rather intriguing. What beauty will I be able to witness here? Humanity is beautiful. Okay. Okay. Oh, uh <laughs> people are wonderful. This guy looks like a creep. Oh! I don't like us anymore. We suck. We're the worst. We're the worst character. This guy looks like my favorite, and it turns out he is. He's optimistic about life. What's your deal, bitch? He's optimistic about life. What's your fuck? Oh, you're you're on the surface optimistic. Go right in the trash, us, us. Go right in the trash, directly into the trash, us. Anyway, we can go outside if we just go through these doors, right? If so... You should find the answers to such questions on your own. The moment your hopes are shattered, that too may be beautiful. Shattered? What does he mean by that? What do you think he means? Oh, I'm done with you already. <laughs> you insulted this boy, and I, therefore I'm out. I'm on the outs with you. Alright, well, oh, I wonder what's gonna happen here. Boop. Let's go. Oh, we don't want to press that then. Okay. Okay. Determined as I was, I just couldn't muster the courage to take that step forward. To be honest, I was scared. Because what if just beyond this is... That's wrong! Ah, oh, jeez, this isn't like me. Aww. Just because I'm scared doesn't mean I'm gonna run away. I'm gonna move forward. Are you okay? Kaede! Of course! Don't worry about it. Let's go, Shuichi! I psyched myself up, and this newfound strength walked boldly toward the doors. Upon opening the doors, we were immediately greeted by... Oh, we opened the doors. Interesting. Blue skies. <gasps> Bright sunlight. Gentle wind. And... Oh... A cage? A wall? Both words were accurate. What stood before us was both cage and wall. Either way, the enormous wall struck a terrifying chord. The mere sight of its imposing presence was enough to send waves of panic through me. No matter where we looked, ahead, above, behind, all around, the cage surrounded the entire school. What is this? We're trapped? What's going on? Dome, a firmament. Rise and shine, oh my god, it's so scary every time. Oh, these voices. Oh, I don't want to do them. Hey. Surprised about the cage, huh? I totally understand how you feel. The first time I saw it, my teeth and fingernails fell out. Eh? That's not a healthy way to react to a surprise. The album was so awesomely huge, I can see why it's called the End Wall. Huh? End Wall? That's right! Normally, walls are erected to separate two places, right? But that wall is different. It represents the end of the world. Hey! What? Is it? Ah. What are you talking about? What? Mm? What were we talking about? Yeah? Ooh, was someone talking? Was I talking? <laughs> you can do your laugh for me. I don't need to. <laughs> Oh, Stop laughing and explain yourselves. There's nothing to explain. This is simply how it is, so please don't bother. You can't get out of here. The wall has no entrances or exits, and it cannot be climbed or demolished. Well, actually, 
An ultimate could probably climb it part way, but most of the time it's impossible. What? But they can still sort of climb it, hmm? I took a deep breath and shouted at the wall as loud as I could. Honestly, same. Someone help us! Oh no, I just thought you meant just shouting at the wall. That's what I would do. I'm not asking for help. I just want to scream at the wall and hope that does something. Or not, just scream at wall. Please help us! Uh, EP! <laughs> Someone, anyone, please help us. We're surrounded. That's not anything. We're trapped inside this huge cage. Huh? Huh? Eep, eep, eep. Huh? I shouted as loud as I could, but for all my shouting, there was no response. <laughs> stop it! Please stop. You'll hurt your throat. That's right. Yes, yeah, scream all you like. No one can hear you anyway. Huh? No one can hear us? Hey! What do you mean? What do you mean no one can hear us? <laughs> Monodem, we got this. Oh Wait. no, the roulette. Say something! <laughs> hey! One of you, just answer! <laughs> Damn it! Damn it indeed. Hmm. Monodem is ignoring them excellently because he refuses to open his heart. Ah, oh. delicious sips. <laughs> you can thank my fizz for bullying for making that happen. Hmm. Now, now, let's all get along. Dumbass! Shut up, we're the motto cubs. We need to be tough and whatnot. What is this? You things, this school. What is all this? So you bastards have to use your legs, hands, and eyes to find that out for yourself. Actually... But please watch your step while you explore. The school is still under construction. Huh? Under construction? I looked around. Uh oh! I mean, maybe it is three, the other... Well, no, because everything... No, again, that makes no sense. No, we're... I liked the, the, what you call it, idea that this might be, that they might have been cryogenically frozen or something. Or, there's just their, no, the last one was kind of, it was just all their memories a little bit. It was like their memories of them. So, I don't know if it's that. It was true. Some areas did seem as if they were still under construction. It looks as if they were still building some of the facilities here. Um, are they still in the middle of building this school? No. I don't think so. It seems more like they're renovating an abandoned school. Hmm. Either way, any construction will finish soon once we set the exes 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 I I hate this name. I don't think that this is a good name. An autopilot? Huh? Exosols, I fuck it. I want you to tell me how to pronounce that. Hell yeah! One's part of a biker gang. Oh, one's part of a biker gang. The Exosols now work on construction to support their wives and kids. Do robots really need that kind of backstory? I refuse to try. I will get banned from existing, I think. I think that I'll be banned from existing. I think that, nope. <laughs> um, their steering wheels are leopard print and their dashboards are lined with arcade prizes. You stupid. Seriously, knock it off, guys. They sound like douchebags with backstories like these. So long, Holy man. Dang. And then they go again. And uh, more importantly, is what they said really true? We can't escape. We can't go over that wall. No one's coming to rescue us. Oh, geez. If I give up now, then what? I slapped both my cheeks, and as my face grew warm, I could feel my determination returning. Hey, hey Shuichi, uh, let's go see if we can find a way out. <laughs> I slapped him upside the head, just firm enough to get his attention. Ow! Ow, indeed. You know? Shuichi, I'm not great at motivating others, but we can't give up just because of a wall. 
We came from no somewhere, so there has to be an exit. Yeah, that's right. We may not be able to escape now, but we'll do it eventually somehow. Yeah. Everyone just has to cooperate if we all want to get out of here. Yeah, that's right. It's too early to give up. Too early. We'll give up in like 20 minutes. Slap the detective. Oh god. Oh, it's too fast. Oh jeez. Oh jeez, too fast. Oh, we can't go in there at all. Oh. 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 Dining hall. Get okay, weren't we just in here? Oh, we can end but it's blocked off. Okay. What's around here? Oh. Okay. Interesting. So, we'll be able to get to those later, I guess. Oh. There's a lot of things that are blocked. Okay. Okay. Dormitory. Can we go in there yet? Well, we'll see in a second. Let's talk to you first. Who are you? Oh, we've got your voice for you already. Your little beard. Oh, you're, an, oh, you're like a greaser, aren't you? Jeez, how they even make this big-ass wall? <laughs> this is stupid. This is stupid. Seriously, I just don't get it. Hey. I wonder what will happen now. If we can't escape, then... Right. Hey, what? Are you complaining? I hope that you are a greaser. I hope that your thing is just the ultimate a greaser. Mm, what could you be, though? Tattoo artist, maybe? You've got, like, a tattoo print on you. Tattoo artist, greaser. Hairstylist, maybe? I don't know. Let's see. You're very... Hmm. Huh? Oh, indeed. Listen up. Ultimate, maybe you're the ultimate motivational speaker. Maybe you're the ultimate motivational speaker. <gasps> ultimate barista. Oh my god, imagine. Okay. Quit complaining, grumbling, or I'll turn into a habit. Yeah. Besides, the cage is nothing compared to the vastness of the universe. Are you like the ultimate like astrom ast ast astronomer? I was gonna say astrologer, astrology, which I was just but like, I don't think about that. Maybe! Okay, I need to know. I'm very excited for you now. Um, the universe? Got it. Oh, it's my bad. I haven't introduced myself yet. Oh no, I haven't introduced myself yet. I don't know what I'm doing. My bad. I'm Kaito Momota, luminary of the stars. Even crying children adore the ultimate astronaut. <laughs> Yay! 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 Oh, it's the ultimate astronaut! Well, why didn't we even think so in the first place? Okay, the ultimate astronaut. Don't even... Hey, don't even worry about it. We're the ultimate astronaut. Thank you, Kaito. Oh, I need to put your name down. Oh. about it i'm an astronaut isn't that cool <laughs> it is kaito i like you hmm. yeah I've, I've never been to space so i don't know much about it <laughs> ah, well of course not just anyone can get up there i may be an astronaut but i'm actually still in training i see oh i see so you're still a trainee but you know but i'm the first teenager to ever pass the exam with a little beard obviously we should have known we saw the little beard you're known astronaut. I mean, normally you yeah, need a college degree to even take the exam. Huh? Huh? Then how did you take the exam? So... I had a friend who was pretty crafty, so I had him forge some stuff for me. It's just the Emery show. Don't worry. It's just Emery. All Emery all the time. Ah, <laughs> uh, jeez. That's illegal. Yeah. Yeah, I ended up getting caught. I was in pretty deep shit. <laughs> But the people at that decided they liked me and let me in anyway. Of course, I aced the exam, too. Jeez, that's reckless. Got it. Sometimes you gotta be a little reckless to make your dreams a reality. Huh. No way I want to wait till after college. I want to get to space as fast as I can. I like you, Kaito. But <laughs> you sure have a lot of energy. Got it. Yeah, everyone told me that was impossible, but I never give up, not for a moment. That's because limits don't exist unless you set them for yourself. Let's do it. There are no walls we can't get over. Same goes for that one. Could it be? So, you have any ideas? I'm not ultimate ideas, boy. Hey, 
What did I say? Sorry, did I tell you I was ultimate ideas boy? Because that was not what I think that I mentioned to you. I think I mentioned the astronaut thing. Shut up! That's not the problem. Um, no, that is the problem. This guy talks a big game. <laughs> I like him. <laughs> His report card has been updated. I like him. I like you. Don't worry about it. In the world you can't get over. We'll think of a way out. Better not hear you complaining or grumbling. I think now is a good time to think of a way out. No, we're good. Okay, we'll go to the thing afterwards, see if we can get in there. Oh god, there's a lot of out here, huh? Ding dang daroo. A lot of out here. Okay, can't get through that way. Oh. Okay. Big Katie here. But oh! Hi! Oh, hi! Oh, we know nothing about you! <gasps> Ultimate bug, ultimate bugs, ultimate bugs, ultimate bugs. I'm calling it ultimate bugs. Ultimate likes bugs. Ultimate, ultimate has bu ultimate likes bugs. Ultimate butterflies, ultimate butterflies and bugs. Ultimate likes butterflies, ultimate likes bugs. Done. 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 Ultimate likes bugs. Ultimate enjoys bugs. What's your voice? What's your voice? What's your voice, ultimate likes bugs? What's your voice, ultimate likes bugs? This is spooky music. Oh, this guy looks scary. So big and muscular. Ultimate bugs. It has to be. There's no way that this isn't ultimate bugs. Ultimate chef in that song. They did ultimate chef, chef in the last one. I mean, they had ultimate detective in the last one, but there's always an ultimate detective. Um, okay. Um, um, excuse me. Oh, this Scots? Okay. Huh? Hm. Thank you. Big boy, big boy, big smile, big boy, big smile, love him. Big boy, big smile, big boy, big smile, love him. Kisses, kisses for my big boy, kisses for my big boy, kisses for my big beefy boy, boop doo Kisses for my big boy, kisses for my big boy, kisses for my big beefy boy, boop boop. This is a good day. Oh god, is my... Cheers, me. <laughs> oh, cheers, me. Huh? Huh? Thank you. Sorry. Oh, sorry for scaring. Um. Uh, Gonta. What? Oh, you you speak in the first person, Gonta? Gonta, scary looking. Most people will not want to talk to Gonta when meeting for the first time. Oh, this is gonna be difficult with the accent. I feel like and I don't know why. Gonta. Hi, Gonta. Gonta, kiss you. Am I right? Gonta kiss you, am I right, Gonta? I'm gonna kiss you very bad, okay. Cause Gonta gentlemen. Okay, what you've got like a okay. <laughs> sure. Um so like gentlemen, go on to say thank you. Uh thank you for talking to Gonta. Yeah. Um thank you for being so polite. <laughs> he looks scary, but he doesn't seem scary at all. Oh. Alright, Gonta's going to need make an introduction. Um uh, Gonta's Gaunt. name is Gonta Gokuhara. Gonta's talent is ultimate entomologist. Bug! Gonta want to become gentleman. Becoming Bug. true gentleman, Gonta's goal. That's what it is with American accents? Interesting. Interesting. I, like, I mean, like, I've obviously, like, I've got, like, my American mom. So, like, that probably didn't help this itch. <laughs> my mom is very American sounding. So, like, I definitely got it from her, but like, eh. and then, yeah, the but like the accent definitely shifts for like particular reasons. It's like if I get like heated, then it gets more Scottish, or if I talk about Scottish things, it gets more Scottish. Uh, gone, gone. I want to become gentleman. Becoming too ge true gentleman is gone to school. Bug, bug, bug. That is bug, right? Entomologist is bug. Oh, so you're Gonta. That's a really cute name. <laughs> really? Oh, you're so I can't say thank you. I don't think that you can say thank you in a Scottish accent. Oh, and the character. Oh. Uh, I don't think that... Well, I can't do... Look. Let me try to see. Cheers. 
Oh, you're actually pretty nice. So me for being scared at first. Maybe. Oh, gone to scary looking, huh? Sorry. Oh, sorry. That's not what I. No. No, it's all right. Gone's used to it. Uh, gone to called scary. Called scary since he was a kid. Um. I don't know if I can do it with this. I don't know what else to do. I don't know what other it would do. I think like just with the with the like the speech differences and the accent that's hard for me to do, I can't do it. But we've got wait, who do we have one? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we've still got four more characters. We've still got four more characters. So I might switch this to something else so that there's not something that has like a difference in speech pattern as well as a difference in an accent that's hard. What's bored now, Will? What was bored now? Oh, was it like... Oh, wait. Am I... Okay. Am I misremembering? It's been a while since I've watched Buffy. Was it... Bored now. <laughs> it, am, I, am I doing it right if I go... Bored now. <laughs> like this kind of vibes. Well, I don't know. But we got this kind of vibes. Like if I use my head a lot when I talk. A kind of cute vibe. Am I right or am I wrong? Have I met, have I remembered this wrong? How many messages? Like that? Okay. How, what do I write that down in the list? Cause like, was it like, I'm trying to remember what it was like. Like, yeah, everything gets a little fucked up and she get is it that she gets fucked up and then she kind of turns evil and then she gets the powers and she's just like, but it's still got this kind of cute thing. But she's bored. <laughs> bored now. And then smashes someone. Am I right? This has been a long time since I watched Buffy. <laughs> it's been a good amount of yar. Alright. Yeah, cool. Okay, I am I am remembering. How do I write this down? Like, yeah, she goes dark but still with like the cute edge, right? Because she's cute, but she goes dark, but you know, she's still Willow. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's put you down as bored. Bored now, Willow. <laughs> oh! Fucking... From the, literally the last game... Well, not literally the last game that we played. We had a lot of text market adventures. Um... Like from, um... Uh, from... What did we just play? Like Shapeshifting Detective. Like Monroe from Shapeshifting Detective, maybe. We got Monroe from Shapeshifting Detective. He's got big eyes and kind of a little little with it. But also gets a little perky. <laughs> that feel yeah, okay. Okay, we got this. We got this. Since you're a kid, huh? Oh, don't to see. Yeah, okay, we got it. We got that. We got it. We got it. We got a T, we're ready, we're doing voices, we got this. Kid Gonta bigger than other kids. Other kids scared of Gonta. <laughs> so Kid Gonta play alone. That's how Gonta came to like bugs. I fucking knew it was bugs. Don't test me, it's bugs. Don't test me, it's bugs. Broke up the em. It was Emery show. <laughs> um. But when Gonta really focus, it easy to lose track. One day Gonta go to forest to find bugs. End up. Lost. I see. That sounds rough. Were they able to find you right away? Mm. Mm, yeah. Took ten years, though. Huh? Ten years? What? But Gonta fine. New family took care of Gonta. Hmm. Uh, I see. I'm glad they were nice people. Um. Oh, not people. Uh, wolves. Gonta. Gonta, you're the best love of my life. God is the love of my life. Okay. Huh? Well, but but are they really nice? Because mm, of a forest family, got to learn to speak bug and animal. Oh yeah, little sippy sip. Gonta. As thanks, Gonta want to show forest family what great gentleman Gonta is. How is becoming a gentleman gonna thank them for that? I hope he's got the wrong word and he means feral animal. <laughs> I hope he's got the wrong word. 
And then what he merely means is Ganja's gonna become, I don't know, the savager of worlds. <laughs> This place strange, huh? Lots of plants, no bugs. Huh? Wait, really? I suppose it's understandable that there's no animals, but no insects? That's strange. Not even one bug. You mean... You like bugs too? Amazing! Good. Good, 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 good. Okay. Hey, uh, what's your favorite bug? What do you like about them? Uh, uh, no, I wasn't saying that I like bugs or anything. Wait. Then you hate bugs? Huh? What? But how? You hate bugs. <laughs> That's not true. Um, you don't hate bugs. You love them, right, Shui Chi? Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah uh, of course I do. I love bugs. <laughs> Thank goodness. Oh. Okay, that's good. No bad person likes bugs. I don't know if that's necessarily true, Ganta, but I'll believe it for you. I think bugs are cool. There's a lot of bugs I don't like, but that's the ones that try to murder my plants. I really hope that one of these um, mysteries is solved. Because someone says that they hate bugs, and we're like, bad. Hmm. That was scary. Yeah, I thought you were gonna die. <laughs> Honestly, I can't stand bugs either. <laughs> but it might be best to hide that. Oh! Ganta! You're so precious. I mean, this place is so strange. Lots of green, no bugs. Come. Oh, Gata, no, I'm sorry, I took away your smile! I'm sorry, I took away your smile, Gata. Right, we. I promise that we'll... Go, mm, what am I looking at? Uh, yeah, I promise we will make one of them, the other Scottish. We'll definitely make another Scottish. <laughs> Can we change for tags? Right. Just fucking um, change this monster. There's a ninja statue? You're right. It looks like one, but why is this here? Seriously, there's so many odd things. Okay. Oh, there's like a lab? Ah, oh, there's not like a lab. What's this? What are you? Shine of judgment. <laughs> not ideal. Oh! Oh, hey, we've not seen you before. I don't even remember this one. I do not remember this one at all. Interesting. Uh, Gaunt is, uh, is a guy, but still, <laughs> he can do this. <laughs> he can do this for you. He's the most precious thing I've ever seen. Um, this monitor is way too high tech to be used in this school. Blech. What if he's Sakura's, like... What if he's Sakura's, like, family? Can't jump first and run and grab, right? What's with us? Why no grab? Oh. Nothing else to click. Only person. Yaha! Ultimate a mermaid. Ultimate a mer- Ultimate is literally a mermaid. Ultimate is a mermaid? What's on her hip? There's something on her hip that would be a clue, but I didn't look close enough before. Ultimate is a mermaid? Right, what's your voice? What's your voice? Ultimate fishmonger might be ultimate fishmonger. What's the voice of the ultimate fishmonger? I would love ultimate fishmonger. That would be so good. Or just like ultimate, maybe ultimate sailor. Oh, maybe ultimate sailor. Look at the, the, um, like the, the yellow, the yellow coat. The yellow coat has a big, a big fisher vibe. Well, it's a moon moon. Moon moon. I don't know what moon moon voice is, but I have always imagined that it's moon moon. Moon moon. Deep, we've already got a deep voice. Moon, 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 moon. 
I always imagine that moon moon is moon moon. You know? That's is that good enough or is that a different vibe? <laughs> Hi, how are you? Moon moon boy. Uh <laughs> Where, which one? Oh, oh, we can't write down your name. I think Fisher. I think Fisherman because like the the gel and the yellow. I think that the yellow anorak is the thing. How are you? My name is Angie Yonaga. I'm the ultimate artist. Way to bury the lead, Angie. Angie. Hey, Angie. I mean, sure, Angie. But I don't think so. Angie, I don't think that that's what you are. Angie, why are, why is your whole vibe not that? Why is your whole vibe not that, Angie? Whatever. Sure, Angie. I mean, I get, uh, the, are the things on our, um, on our hip, like, painting thing? Whatever. You're pretty cheerful. She's a bit too happy. Why are we so antagonistic now? We used to love everyone, and now we're just like, everyone's kind of shit. A bit too happy considering the situation we're in right now. <laughs> There's no reason to carry bad thoughts with you. Oh, that's not what you, I just did. There's no reason. What, what did I just do? What, what did I do? Oh, There's no reason to carry bad thoughts with you. You gotta live every day like it's bright and cheery and fun. Cause Atua says so. So says Atua. Huh? Atua? I... The god of my island, Atua. He's always been with me, speaking to me in his divine voice. Okay. So, you're fr the. I guess the shell is because you're from an island. Well, she's certainly devout. This is a good voice match. <laughs> oh, hear me out. Yes, has gets we'll get arts and crafts stuff on our bare stomach, but intentionally. Is a body painter. Main artist form, body paint. Body painters don't normally don't body paint themselves, but you specialize in painting or sculpting? Uh I do both. I paint paintings and I sculpt sculptures. But Atua is the one who makes the art. I even merely offer my body as his vessel. So divine! Oh, divine! Okay. I see. I see, that's interesting. If, I, if you don't mind, can you show me some of your artwork? Please don't be bad. Please don't be really bad. Okay. Of course, of course! <laughs> In return, will you make an offering? Um... An offering? Uh, Every Monday and Wednesday morning on my island, a truck comes to collect offerings. Uh, that sounds oddly similar to putting out trash for pickup. But, but... Don't worry, don't worry. And when I say offering, I just mean a pint or two of your blood. Don't worry. Sorry. I'm a bit anemic. I will pass. I see. I see. What about you then? Huh? Uh, me. Uh, yep. Boy's blood is also an acceptable offering. Come on, come on! Come on, it will not hurt one bit. Uh-oh. Uh. Uh, wait a minute. Oh. <laughs> Don't run away! <laughs> <laughs> no, don't run away! This girl is weird. <laughs> Obtain friendship fragment. Hi, Angie. I'll give you my blood. Hey, bud. I will 100% give you my bloods. Yoo-hoo! When your anemia clears up, come by so I can accept your offering. May Atua bless you. That is not something you say with a smile. <laughs> I am very happy with this uh, voice combo. This is the correct voice combo. Mwah! Let's go! Bye! Okay. So you're great. Zoom, zoom, zoom. I love you. There's, a, there's been only a few people so far that I hated. <laughs> That's not many. That's great. Right. So we're running out of people for, for, for Scottish. We're, we're, where are we now? Okay. Oh, there's only one more. Okay, the last one will have to be Scottish. Oh no. <laughs> I think I see her. 
Oh no no no, you're one eye. No, you're one eye. You're one eye. You still have. We still Very have. Nice to see oh, you again. not again. <laughs> no, you're one eye. Nice you're already French. You okay. Look, the vibes don't always have to match. <laughs> Look, the vibes don't always have to match. Why, hello there. Uh, sorry, uh, I, mm, uh, I forgot how to do the Matakuma voice. No, the First, we have to do the original Matakuma voice, and then we have to adapt it to five bespoke voice, well, four bespoke voices, because the uh, good read one doesn't actually say anything. Mm, sorry to intrude. Jeez. What is it this time? What do you mean by intruding? The hell you say? Oh, this is your home, you bastards. <laughs> We finished setting up the showers. Now you can go pee. Correct. Hey. Oh, Stoner Bro is also good. Why don't they just use the toilets? Oh, even for number two. Oh. Ah. Do you go number two in the shower? Hmm. Oh, that's gross. So long, I didn't around. need you to be here for that. Right. Let's see. Let's see who we have and have not. What do you mean, our home? Could it be? They mean for us to stay here, to live here. See, there's 16 doors. Perhaps a room for each of us? Stop it. I don't plan on staying here long enough to need a room. Okay, let's see who. Ooh. Oh. 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 So this is. Oops. Oh. I didn't mean to do that. That girl. Yeah, I know. Um. Stop. So this is her. <laughs> this is her. That looks like this is gonna be. Oh, this is gonna be the one that we. This is the emo e twin tailsy one, whose name I didn't write down. This is gonna be the Russian one, I think. Who? Her name? Tenko. This is the. No, no, yeah, yeah. No, this is soft. The soft spoken one. That's the the emo one. This one is. Who is this? Shit! No, that way. No, yes, this was the emo sounding one. God, I'm so confused from them. This is the emo sounding one. This was the one that. Oh, this is um. This is the really cute one. This is the this one, the uru. This was. Is this me? Who's this? Yeah, that has to be me. Who are you? Maybe we've not met you yet. We not met you yet. We might not have met you yet. That might be the last one that we've not met. Unless anyone can remember someone else. Uh, that's the witch girl. Maybe, wait, maybe that's me. What fucking who is everyone? <laughs> I've forgotten everyone. Oh no, one of them, one of the. Okay, no, that's gonna be me. That's me. That's the girl that um had the that that's the the ultimate like um inventor. This is the little one. This is the one that's the ultimate boss of everything. This is the robot. This is the um, Mr. Mustard. This is the guy we just had the ultimate ast uh, astronaut. Who the fuck are you? Oh, that's the one that got creepy with us in the end. You, that's um thing that we just met. Why can't I remember your name? Why can't I remember your name? Oh no, I forgot your name already. Whatever. And that's you. Okay. So when we find this one, this one's going to be Scottish. <laughs> Maybe. We'll see what the vibe is. Okay, let's see your deal. But I failed to see their objective. Um, um, what do you mean? Oh, you've got a lot of webs. Ultimate and arachnid. Ultimate is a spider, secretly. Ultimate is secretly a spider. Oh, ultimate, like, seamstress? Oh, maybe that was too close to the cosplayer. So I was thinking like spinning, like webs, spinning webs, spinning yarn and shit. I don't know. Maybe, ooh, maybe ultimate like secrets keeper, secret master, secrets master. Seeing that web, like in the web. Or maybe more, even more literal and is just ultimate internet. Ultimate at internet. The web. Ultimate Halloween! Uh, what do you mean? How? If they are holding us for ransom, a large facility such as this would be unnecessary. 
Furthermore, I gather they would rather take care for us than hurt us. In light of this, I fear to see the true objective of the culprits responsible for kidnapping us. Culprits, huh? Never thought about that. Why would our kidnappers go through all this trouble? Sixteen ultimate students have been gathered here, but why? What's the reason? Excuse me. Pardon me. <laughs> Pardonnez-moi. <laughs> Pardonnez-moi. I've not introduced myself yet. I am Kirumi Tojo, the ultimate maid. <laughs> no, you don't you require my service. Ultimate maid. Kirumi. <laughs> oh, Kirumi. Okay, Kirumi. Also, well, you know what? It'll be clean around here. That's nice. It, look, it'll get clean around here. Sure. <laughs> you know, Kameda's hot. Thank you so much for following up here the stream. This is bad. Um, okay. You don't put her. <gasps> Dang. Please let you know me know if you require my service. Also, I am very sorry that this is another one that has weirdly matched up. Because the French maid is a whole thing. So this is another one that before knowing weirdly matched up. Oopsie doopsums. Yep. <laughs> Oop. I see. Oop. Like how did this match up like this? Oh god. Wow, the ultimate maid sounds like a really cool talent. Oh. Oh, wait, I I've heard of Kirumi Tojo. Maybe if you're more like, what if she's like a um, Marie Kondo kind of? If I remember correctly. Uh, an, ult uh, an ultimate with incredible intellect and strength, working as a private maid. I've heard her work so perfect she can complete any request given to her. Huh? <laughs> what? She's that amazing. I do not agree. Please, you are exaggerating. I will not complete any request that is asked of me. I once received a request to annihilate a rival nation, but that was impossible. I rejected it. <laughs> yeah, I didn't choose most of these voices, but let's go with that. <laughs> it, it's not a it's not a Twitch username. It's a fact. I I cannot come with you. You you are you are going a place that I cannot follow. <laughs> you have gone a place that I cannot follow. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Being requested to doing uh, to do that is pretty impressive on its own. That's true. I also heard that she's been hired as a bodyguard for several foreign dignitaries. I do not agree. I have only been employed as a maid, not a bodyguard. I see. You've been hired by so many important people. You're like a super maid. May I? Moving on. What do you intend to do now? Hmm. Oh, that's a tough question. Uh -huh. What should we do? Well, what do you do, Kirumi? Well, what, what would you do, agree. Kirumi? I hold no opinions or desires of which to speak. I am a maid. As a maid, I, my only desire is to fulfill the desires of others. Oh no, this is giving me big, what you call it, vibes from the last game. Uh oh, uh oh, what was her name from the last game? Uh oh. She vibes, exact, her vibes are exactly the same. Uh oh. He did like her, though. So please think about what you desire for yourself and what you desire from me. For everyone. No matter the situation, no matter what happens, I am here to serve everyone. Even in this situation, she's more concerned for others. She's the ultimate maid after all. Do you want to give you a little kiss on your forehead? Do you want to kiss your sweet little forehead, Beam? Uh-oh, wait! We met everyone? We've not huh? met everyone. Wait, I thought that... Wait. I, 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 I kind of got fucked up because I didn't. Sorry, one second. So one. Hi. I think we've only got 15, did we? Did, how did... It's only 15. Right? Oh, 
Oh no, we didn't. Wait, no, we didn't. no, I didn't put down. Oh, dang it, I didn't put down. Um. Oh, wait. I didn't put down the one that the 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 gold mine guy. Okay. Shit. Okay. Well, all of them are done. <laughs> Have children as and nursemaids or both girls? <laughs> no. Oh no. Yeah, we do have both of those, huh? <laughs> oh, the very the vast love of Maggie though <laughs> is very good. Okay, I put that. I didn't put that. Dang it. Okay, so well, who was the small blonde one? Why don't I remember that one? Why don't I remember that? Well, whatever. What was the bell? Oh. We might change one of the voices. We'll see. I think they all kind of fit, but we'll see. Katie, look, the monitor. Thanks for bearing with us. Hi, Anna. Oh, no, oh, no. Hi, thanks for bearing with us. <laughs> you bastards. Yeah, you bastards, lady. Oh. All right. Everyone make your way to the gym, please. <gasps> The opening ceremony can finally begin. I hate the chest hair. You finally finished our preparations. You're on the threshold of an amazing adventure, Showtime. One we had that one dude with the crystal necklace. Yeah, no, that one was. We, we found his. Like, he, he was the, um. He's got the little voice. They've counted little voice already. It was like. And like that, he wasn't the crystal necklace one. The the one with the kind of green hair. I thought that crystal necklace had the green hair. That was the little voice. I thought that that was little voice who turned out being a little bit creepy. But like the one that was on the door had like pure white hair. Who was that again? I don't know. I don't remember. Hey. You do realize you read your lines backwards, don't you? So long, farewell! I also did not like all of the dolls around that room that were being hung. Maybe? I don't know. But like, this ensues- like, the ding dong assumes that it's like, oh, we've met everyone now. Because normally when it does the ding dong, it's like, oh, you've met everyone. Gym opening ceremony. Hey, Katie, what should we do? Um, what should we do? Uh, go, of course. Uh, everyone else is probably doing the same thing. You're right. True, but I'm a little worried about this. I'm a little worried. I'm very worried. This one. Who is this? Oh no, that was. Oh, that's the one that we just saw. Uh, okay, that would that's the one that we literally just saw on the thing. That's um what's her name? Um da, 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 what's her name? Angie. That's Angie. Fuck. That's Angie. Yeah, Pat as a pejorative does not attack past the vibe check. <laughs> like, oh no. Fatness. How bad? <laughs> um where are we? Do we want to swap any of them to Scotland? Any favorites so far? <laughs> are there favorites so far? Oh, I can look at them all in the thing as well now. I've got them, if I've got them all. I could have just done this to see who they were. Oh no, you can dislike the motto cubs. You just can't use fat as a thing to be like, oh, I hate this person. What's a thing, a mean thing to say? Fat. <laughs> like, cool sucks it's a suck thing uh, okay so us through me look i think this look as much as i just like the fucking vibe of like oh it's just there to serve others uh her fucking whole aesthetic is radical her whole aesthetic is radical um she a little- oh, oh, actually. Well, when I say tall, I mean tall compared to me. Oh, also got paged- oh. Oh, it shows our bonds. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Um. Cool. Well, we're good. I'm glad we know her chest size. Um, May 10th birthday. Likes cleaning. Dislikes taking days off. Ultimate maid. 
Um, <laughs> Himiko feels like a lot for me. Uh, December 3rd. Like small spaces. Same. Dislikes the ocean. Same. Ultimate magician. Oh yeah, the, bo the boys I'm pretty sure also have chest measurements. Yeah, the boys also have chest measurements. <laughs> um. Hey, Mackies are more my size. <laughs> Every second. Likes morning lake shores. This likes winter lake shores. What about winter lake shores in the morning, Mackie? What about winter lake shores in the morning? Uh, I want to know more. Hey, I want to know more about Mackie. I hope that she's okay. <laughs> I hope she's okay. Um, Tenko. I also do enjoy a Tenko. State of our January likes nunchucks. Dislikes men. Dislikes men. <laughs> Tenko can stay. I also like that this game is just essentially just lesbians in a house. It's just a house of lesbians and then some men who are running around. Uh, Mugi. Uh, oh, who are you again? Oh, you were. Oh, you're the the cosplayer. You're cute, and we're in love with you. Canonically, our character is in love with you. Poster check. Dang. Well, poster check. Um, August 15th birthday, likes Eva foam, dislikes disorderly cues, fucking right. Angie, I can see your whole vagina, Angie. Don't need that. You're so little! Oh, you're very little. I do like, I do, look. Oh, yeah, look, when, when we, look, when we say men, it's just as a general description. Of course. But look, we don't need to not all men this. We can not like men. Because <laughs> of the way that the world is. Don't gotta worry. I have a boyfriend who I love very much. He also does not like men. <laughs> likes avocados. Nice. This likes humidity. There. Yeah, but was Ryoma the... Uh, it's Himiko. Oh, well, Ryoma is this one, I'm guessing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Angie's very, Angie's small. Uh, Mew. I like children's television, dislikes taking it easy. Mew, you and me, same page. Yuichi, oh, I, oh you, the, the gossip thing again. Kaito, I like Kaito already. <laughs> likes houseplants, dislikes the occult. <coughs> oh no. <coughs> <coughs> what? Dislikes the occult. All right, sure, Kaito. <laughs> All right, Kaito. You're not gonna get on with uh, Himiko, I don't think. <laughs> um, Ryoma uh, confuses and scares me. Uh, likes Russian blues. For fuck's sake, Ryoma. Dislikes white tip reef sharks. Ryoma, what's your deal, bud? Uh, Rintaro, I. You scare me? You have a very scary energy, but I think but I like him. I like his spooky energy. Uh, likes extraterritorial rights. What does that mean? What does that mean? Dislikes cars. Sure. What does that mean? I hope that you're something to do with the occult. You look like you've got something to do with the occult. Um, Gonta. An angel among us likes anthropods, dislikes bananas. Same, Gonta. Gonta, same. Uh, Koichi also just wilds me out. We'll have to see. <laughs> likes carbonated drinks, dislikes pig feet. Like on the pigs or to eat? Like you don't like looking at them while they're on the pigs or you don't like eating them? Because those are two different vibes. One of them is like... I don't like the food. I don't, I don't, I don't want to look at this animal's feet. Just strange. The other is, that is a particular food that I'm not into. Have I had pig feet? I don't think I have. What's with your spooky little face? Oh no, I have to move me now. I have to move me so you can see this extra spooky face. 
I've never tried pig feet. I want to try. I want to try. I don't even know, like, what, like, where, like, I'm guessing that there's meaties, like, inside, like, the hoof part. But I don't know what it would be, like, I don't know, even texture-wise, what it would be. Anyway, why do you have a spooky secondary face, buddy? Buddy, I don't like your spooky secondary face. It's actually not it for me. I really don't like your spooky secondary face. Should I be over here? No. Does it make much of a difference? Maybe I should be over here for this game. Maybe I should be over here so you can see the bold people. Um, I don't like the extra face. You wouldn't get the extra face. It's an anthropologist thing. <laughs> like straw ropes. Don't go see that and be concerned. What is there to be concerned about? All I'm seeing... All green flags for Ismay. Well, straw. It's not straw, maybe. Unless we've got like a protector, I don't think straw. Get pickled in jars. Ooh, maybe it, like, I feel like that would be more likely for me to be able to access than like, I don't know, cause like, I feel like pig's feet is not a thing that we usually eat in Britain. So I feel like pickled pig's feet is something that I would more likely be able to get my hands on, if you get what I mean. Because they would be in, like, you know, like, foreign food stores. Um, but I don't think that they would bring, like, a, the raw, like, the raw pig. Because, like, but there's pigs here, so there has to be... People aren't just, like, throwing everything away. Uh, it probably goes into sausages and stuff. Probably goes into sausages and stuff. Look out for it. Because, like, there's, there's the foreign food store that, um... Is, like, that, that we have around here. They might have it. I'll see. I'll pop in and see. Maybe we'll like, well, let's go. But yeah, there's a butcher's around. Maybe I can go. Oh, they probably do it for like, I mean, they probably do it for dogs. Like normally, if you go in and request like things and you get them for dog, like they're like, oh yeah, my pet will get this. But, I, but I'm just gonna be like, hey, I probably have to look up a recipe. I probably have to look up a recipe first because I cannot imagine that you just grab it and be like, oh, I don't think that you can raw dog that motherfucker. <laughs> anyway. Likes straw ropes, dislikes air conditioning. Tell me about it. Hey, Kyo, tell me about it. Kibo, I'm also into. <laughs> hey, uh, the lag is not good today. Um, likes, 100 to 240 volts. Same. Uh, dislikes vending machine. <laughs> Kibo, we're, we're in this together, I think. Okay. I love all of them. All right. Let's -a go. Where did it want us to go? I wasn't listening. So that's good. Okay, so we've got all of them. We might change a voice or two if we feel like they don't fit. Because we've got the the bit we the availability of the Scottish one, but quite like the voices as they are, but we'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. <laughs> Dear little. Um, where are we, okay, where are we going? I was not paying attention or listening or anything else. Does it say what I'm supposed to be doing somewhere? Ooh, boy, I wish that I paid attention. You want us to go to the gym? Question mark. Mm, I wish I paid attention to anything. Did anyone? Did anyone pay attention? <laughs> the shrine of judgment, maybe. Gym? I would guess gym, cause like normally they like us meeting the gym. Gym hall. Cool. Thank you. <laughs> oh, it's got a thing. I'm very smart, and I know what I'm doing. Can I, how do I? Oh, can I go here? Yeah, let's go here. Boop. Cool, 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 cool. Oh. No. Yes. Normally it's, well, we met in the gym last time before the game was like, but reset, which is gonna be important, but for now, it was just annoying. <laughs> We'll see. 
See you around. All right, Do everyone's here. All right, well, we will, hey, therapy. <laughs> Have fun therapy. All right, okay. We'll see if any of the voices are supremely not it. And then maybe we can we can see what else we'll do with it. Now that we know what we're working with. Oh, 16 of us have gathered. This one is staying as it is. This one turned out perfect. Mm. Also, your voice is staying as it is because I love it. Mm, it's pretty spectacular seeing the 16 of us ultimates gathered together because... <laughs> Right, you are not. Oh, but then no one would have Mr. Mustard. I mean, we could swap this so and then someone else could get Mr. Mustard. I don't know. <laughs> you mean not? Oh, that's 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 me trying to do the Scottish voice, and I don't know what I'm doing. You may not be able to be so easy going for much longer. That's Scottish. What am I doing? Where am I? Who am I? Mr. Mustard. All right, we're back. Oh, Mr. Mustard. You may not be able to be so easygoing for much longer. Okay, what? Well, right. This is where we're at. Right. Where are we? Where are we? Okay. For this character. Don't get me wrong. Both are ridiculous options. <laughs> both are ridiculous options. Are we? You may not be able to be so easygoing for much longer. <laughs> Or are we fuck, how do I do how do I do my own accent? <laughs> you may not be able to be so easy going for much longer. Which one are we at? <laughs> why can't I do just this accent? You may not be able to be so easy going for much longer. That why can't I just do that? Why does whenever I do a Scottish accent it sounds worse? You just have to get a little bit Scottish beforehand. You just fucking get annoyed about the fact that no one knows you're Scottish. And you're like, fine. May not be able to be so easy going for much longer. Which one? <laughs> Both make me stop and have to do a lot of thinking to get there. Do we want this boy to be a Mr. Mustard or do we want this boy to be a Scotland? <laughs> British anthropologists are big for colonialism. <laughs> I mean, that's fair. I mean, like, I don't want to take away too much the, the, like, you know, Scotland's implicit, like, having followed the crap. Like, look, did we get a little colonized? Yes. But afterwards, did we do a lot of the, of the, the bad? Yes. <laughs> we managed to assimilate and also become cunts. <laughs> but not as much as the fucking English, so. Right. Mustard. We'll muster that. Um. Well, in this situation, there's no use thinking about things. So eventually, Samuki stopped thinking. Same. Uh, hmm. What's going to happen to us? I bet it'll be a big pain. What if you were Mr. Mustard? No. Hmm. Right. Hmm. Oh, you're Russian. What? Okay. What are you looking at? Himiko! Himiko, you can use your amazing powers, right? Because you're psychic and stuff, right? It's magic. I'm not a psychic. I'm a mage. Ah! That is amazing. I definitely want to incorporate that into Neo Aikido. Hey there, Lion. How you doing? <laughs> what sort of training did you undergo to gain your awesome powers? Mm, talking about it is too tiring. <sighs> you're pretty lazy. Please wait. Pardon me, but uh, we did need to be on our guard. We do not know if and when danger will strike. Please don't. What was your voice again? Shit. First. Shit. Richie, where are you? Oh, you're southern. Don't say that. I'm so scared. I don't know what to do. It'll be okay. We'll get there in the end. There's nobody to worry. Atua will protect us. Hey. Goodness. Oh, phew, that is a relief. <laughs> Fucking moron! Uh, is your rain full of weeds or something? I will whack them out the skull of yours. <laughs> don't worry about it. Hey, don't worry about it. Just leave it to me. <laughs> leave it to me. If those teddy bears show themselves again, I'll kick their asses. <laughs> going to wonder... What was your voice? I forgot immediately. Oh. Hmm? 
What was that? What's wrong? What's wrong? <laughs> See? Listen, hear that? Huh? Mm, I think I, uh, I think I hear that. It sounds like an engine from a robot anime. We'll get there. Oh, that's not great. Okay, yeah, the robots are back. We're yeah, back to where we were, kind of. Sign. Okay. They were confused before, but we got back here. And now we all look less boring. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone. Oh. Everyone behind Gonta. <laughs> what the heck are these monsters? Wow. Whoa, these are so cool. Hell yeah. Oh god. Oh, they're. Oh, I forgot which one. They're exiles. I exiles. I still don't know how to say this. Highly mobile by beetle weapons platforms. And they got lots of hometown pride to do. What are you saying? I can't keep track of these backstories. <laughs> Whatever they are, they better kill off the uggos and save me for last. <laughs> what is this game? Excuse me? <laughs> um, this is Danganronpa 3. Um, th th look, it's, a l it's 16 kids. In a school for the ultimates of like certain things, like ultimate, what are these? Ultimate inventor, ultimate astronaut, ultimate whatever. Uh, and they're putting this school, and they're probably very soon gonna learn um, that they are there to kill each other. <laughs> they have only one person can survive. They have to murder everyone and uh, get away with it. And if they do, then they get to live. Why is she on? Is she Aussie? Why is she the Aussie? I am absolutely not switching to an Australian accent. <laughs> hey! Run, Himiko! Why are you concerned about me all of a sudden? By the way, what was your. Um, didn't someone say they would kick all their asses? Huh? What the hell? Nobody told me about these! Oh, uh, you, yeah, you should, you need to, look, Danganronpa is fantastic. If you want, you can, um, uh, I, I played through the, the second one, and that's on uh, my YouTube, if you would like to see that one. You don't have to have, know the previous games, really. There's some tie-ins, but honestly, it, they're all pretty, like, they, yeah, they, they tie in in ways, in ways that I find interesting, because I've been there, but they're all individual games, so you don't have to worry too much. It's okay. Alright, chill out, no need to panic. We're probably not in any danger. If they wanted to kill us, they'd have done it by now. With that, Rantaro casually walks up, walked up to the exercise. Then... What do you want from us? You clearly want something. That's what the guns are for, right? Let me guess, you're going to force us to do something. If we don't, we get hurt. That means... Well, you have our attention, so what do you want? And that's that. Mm, well, aren't you a wise guy? <laughs> now, start us off and listen up. Here's what we want you punk asses to do. <laughs> My heart's going 100 miles an hour. I'm going to say you're ready. Hell yes. It's a killing game. Monodam. Yeah, they can very much be separate, but like the, the other ones are very fun to watch if you want to know what the games are all about. I, I highly recommend watching it. I'm sorry I didn't play the first one. The killing game. Huh? What? Here we go. Here is the premise of these games. <laughs> no, no, no. How dare you upstage me? Huh? Wait a second. What did you say? Hmm. If I heard him correctly... It's a killing game. It's a killing game. No, he said it again! God damn it, Monodam. I'm gonna crush you with this here exosel. Come on, we don't have time to fight among ourselves. Okay! Yeah, if you don't stop fighting, I'm gonna crush you with this here exosel. You too, Monotaro. Leave it to me. If this is what it's come to, then I'll crash all the four of you with this here, XSL. What are you saying? 
Nay, why are you including me? Oh well. No oh, well, it's more appropriate for us to be hostile to each other. Oh, oh, here we go. You wanna go, Jabroni? <laughs> Jabroni, why? Who are you calling Jabroni? Jabroni! This is not what I expected, but it is also 100%. I don't know why I didn't expect this. They always fight each other. What'd you say, Jabroni? Stop. I'll throw down any time, Jabroni! Check yourself before you wreck yourself! Seriously? Are they gonna get it on right in front of us? Don't worry. <laughs> Atua is watching over Angie, us. please. Not all of us are, are, are subscribed to your like religion. This, is he just going to watch? Either way, it's too dangerous. We need to get out of here or else... Now, now, now. Oh, are you here? Is the real, is the real deal here? What? My cute little cubs. There we go. You gotta knock off this awful fire. The real deal is here, baby. Oh, that voice! Mmm, that voice. Father, is that you? Papakuma! Papakuma. Daddy! <laughs> oh, I wish you didn't call him daddy, but what? okay. Yeah, same. Hey, Kaede, same. The real gym. That moment, the lights in the gymnasium suddenly shut off. Here's this nasty belly buttoned freak. <laughs> I am the god of this new world. Why is your voice the high? Headmaster of the Ultimate Academy. It feels like you've got a different voice. Is there a different voice actor for this one? Yeah. So this is Monica. Right. This is some backstory. This is this is a little bit of backstory. So always this main one, Monokuma, he is the one that um uh, comes and tells you about the killing game, and he presides over like all the trials and everything. He's a bastard, and no one likes him. Um, he is he and all of these cubs um are little little mech, little automaton, little little robots um that have dra drastic killing powers uh and uh are at uh like follow the whim of the person that set up these killing games. If you're going to watch the previous ones, I won't tell you who it is, though this game might have spoilers in the future um, for who it is that is behind all these two, the, these, these fucking things. Um, yeah, that's it. So these are just, the, uh, these are the, the, the avatars that the person that is behind the killing games uses. Oh, the headmaster of the Ultimate Academy. There we go. The only Monokuma! Nice to meet ya! Maybe it's not. Maybe it's the Yay! same one. The father's here. Hell yeah! Another epic entrance from Papa Kuma. How nice! Oh, Dad, he's so cool! <laughs> My widow cubs. My cute little cubs, you're all so freaking cute! The only reason I can tolerate your entire semantics is because you're all so key. Even when the prologue is going way too long, I'll allow it because you guys are so cute. Yeah. In fact, the very first prologue ever was only short because you cutie platoonies weren't there. Pops! Pops, are you a mad at us? Don't be stupid! Don't be an idiot! I would never get mad at the cute little cut! He is mad. But Daddy is so cool even when he's angry. I wish I wasn't saying this. That's right. Pops is from a planet of handsome bears that gets cooler as they get angrier. It's getting interesting. Super Monokuma, Super Monokuma 2, Super Monokuma 3, and finally Super Monokuma 3. This Monokuma is. God, Super Monokuma. This is where it gets too anime for me. Any of these things, like I don't like, and this is all not it. I want to get to the killing game part. That's only possible when 
six Monokumas of pure heart are gathered together. It's the power you bust out when you really want to fuck the world's shit up! A power you only see when the gods themselves do battle. I don't need this. <laughs> anyway... I'm really not mad. In fact, I gotta admit that I'm actually proud of you guys. You kids really stand out from the rest of the second generation failures in the world. No way! Isn't that a little harsh? I'm sure there are some second generation success stories. Yeah, but... I can't think of any, though. If you can't think of any, it's cause there's not worth remembering! Oh, yeah. But father remembers, cause he knows everything. Oh, I would really like not this. Holy shit! That's right, Papa Kuma! You know all kinds of useless crap! Dog. Cause daddy gets all his Stop. alternate facts from the most trusted names and fake news. Oh my god. <laughs> I hate this. <sighs> I love embracing my children. They're so cute. I can't help myself. So we're not so we're gonna try. Um, we're we're trying to make sure that no one dies. That's like all all these games are us like So essentially like they they come to trials like one person tries to murder another and then we have to work out who Did the murder by finding clues and evidence and then going to trial about it um, And then we're the one uh, that yeah, otherwise like if we get the wrong person then we all die That's the deal Usually, ratings will plummet when mascots appear in sequels too much. Yeah, so get away. And in this case, ratings are through the roof. Oh, thanks to the cute Americans. I don't think that can be true. What is this? What's going on? Seems like... Same. Well, another teddy bear appeared. No. Um, e oh, God, every time. It's the monster. All right. <laughs> yes, but that's no ordinary teddy bear. Oh, I can see it. The despair and madness swirling around that cursed thing. You're really bad. Well, first of all, I'm no teddy bear. I am Monokuma. And show some respect. I am the headmaster of the Ultimate Academy for Gifted Juveniles. Huh? Headmaster? It appears to be some sort of autonomous robot with a built-in AI. Like me. Dong, dong, dong. Dong, dong, dong. Yeah, but... The exosols are different, though. They're brainless buckets of bolts. That's right! They're mindless, petty killing machines that can only be controlled by us, the monocubs. Sheesh. What was it? Autonomous robots piloting weapons platforms. This is certainly turning into quite the story. Hmm, actually. Well, yeah, that may be, but uh, what I'm worried about is this killing game you mentioned. What exactly does that mean? Who, 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 indeed. How? What is so amusing? Yeah. It's just what I said it before. I kind of just phoned it in. <laughs> now I feel awkward. Extreme! I want you students with your, your ultimate level talents to participate in a killing game. <gasps> Huh? Okay. Us? Please stop! Please stop joking. Why would we agree to participate in a killing game? Huh? Hmm. You guys don't want to do it. Gota never do that! Oh, Gota. <laughs> hmm, of course not. Gentlemen does not hurt people. And but if you've looked around the academy, then you already know, don't you? The academy is surrounded by a huge wall. You can't escape. To the outside world. And as long as we have the exosols, you can't defy us. Ching. In other words, I hold the power of life and death over each and every one of you. So do do what you say if we don't want to die. You gotta be kidding me! You've got to be kidding me. Why would friends kill each other? Are we friends, Tenko? <laughs> okay. Oh, Tenko, oh. your outfit is so confusing to me. Tenko, your whole outfit is why is why is necklace and headband pink? Why is necklace pink with like a little like bobbly star thing? And then you move up to headband. That's pink with like a spiky. And then you've got the green leaves in the back like green leaf like like um headband things in the background. 
And then this blue bows, blue, like blue and white bows outfit. What is this vibe? Like your your whole outfit doesn't vibe together and it confuses the living shit out of me. Who said you guys were friends? No way! You guys aren't friends at all. She can just, oh, hold on, it's cool. <laughs> Mirror enemies out to kill each other. Huh? Uh, enemies? We're enemies. Mm, I still have a lot to learn from father about sarcasm. <laughs> All this talking is bugging the shit out of me. I got a bit of butter down to relieve the stress. <laughs> mm, I don't like that. I'm not good with violence or gore or sad situations. Daddy, instead of a killing game, could we do a rock, paper, scissors tournament? You stupid! Who would want to play a game where no one dies? Hmm. Well, oh. Well, you do have a compassionate personality. It's so cute I can barely stand it. You're so Why is cute enough to eat? Cute enough that I want to eat. Eh? Eh. Hey. Hey, Monopoly, you might want to dial back the cute shtick a bit. Hey. Cool it with the stupid banter. I want to ask something. How are we supposed to kill each other? Are you going to give us weapons? What the hell, man? What are you asking? We need to get info from them first. We can't do anything if we don't know anything. No way! Weapons, huh? What kind of barbaric display are you envisioning? You wouldn't be wrong. Why? At the Ultimate Academy for gifted juveniles. Oh, you couldn't be more wrong. The killing bane is quite the refined, sophisticated experience. What? Sophisticated experience? Yeah, yeah! Yes, here the killing game is punctuated by class trials. Uh, class trials? Okie dokie! Let's explain. <laughs> Let's go. <clears throat> here we go. Alright, so if one of you maggots kills someone, you all gotta take part in a class trial. The class trial is where the blackened killer faces off against their spotless class. Ooh, now they've got spotless in it. Interesting. Okay, that wasn't a term that they used before, I don't think. It's where you punk ass bitches argue over who you fucking think the blackened is. I still hate that this is what it is. After that, it's voting <laughs> time! <laughs> and if the majority of you idiots vote correctly, then only the blackened killer will receive p, -p punishment So girl, just imagining all the blood and gore makes me want to puke. No one cares. After the blackened is punished, the rest of you will just keep right on living together. But if you vote for the wrong person during the class trial, the Blacken gets off scot-free, and all the spotless students get punished instead. Yeah, right. Yeah, surely they could have chosen a different one. Hell yeah! Them's the rules of the class trial! Woo-hoo-hoo! Oh! Like, it's been like this from the first, and every time, I'm like, huh. Couldn't have- nothing else? Nothing else came to mind? Like, anything else? Just a, a single other thing? Anything? Oh, the tongue is new! The tongue is new, I think! Oh, too much, too much. That explanation revealed way too much. You got me more coy, flirtatious, seductive, and just like your old man. Gross. Thank you, Himoko. Hey, um the point is, it's not enough to kill someone. You also have to survive the class trial. Yeah, mar marked the fucking... Just the killer. You could just call them the killer. It could just literally be like, the killer. The killer? The one that killed them. The killer. Anything. <laughs> How should I put this? Kill without being caught and then survive the trial. Sounds eerily similar to the real world. Unbelievable. You think so? Then the world must be masterfully designed, even at its cruelest. Listen. One can lightly imagine, but I shall ask just in case. 
What is the punishment you mentioned earlier? Yeah. Yeah. Simply put, it's an execution. Huh? No, they don't have- no, no, they don't have any secret mark on them. That would be a good assumption based on the fact that they have made it seem like that, but no! They literally just murder someone. They literally just murder someone. It's not like they don't get like a mark on them or anything. It's just the term that they use to describe the person that did a murder. Like, yeah. <laughs> they did. They were. They, it was needless. It's net. It's. Uh, it's just. Okay. I think we need something different for Gonta. I think we need something different for Gonta. I don't. Like, with all with all of the other voices, I feel like Gonta loses loses his like mm -hmm. execution. Like it's hard to, cause this one right the voice the voice he's currently got right now only really works for like one like a monotone kind of like. Well, this is it, but it doesn't work for like a range of different like emotions. We might have to get a different voice for Gonta, but I don't know what. It has to be like a, a way of speaking rather than an accent because just because of the way that he speaks, it's difficult for me to do an accent as well as um, like his like, uh, like different way of speaking. Mm. What's that? I wasn't the descending man, but what's that? No, <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Okay. How about this? How about this? How 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 does this grab people? For right. <laughs> Get away from me. Um What if we give right, so the um what was his name? Kibo. Uh Kibo who is the the robotic one? We gave him this voice, but maybe that does What if this suit does this suit Ganta more? Ganta do this. Gonta go here. Gonta want this. Gonta. Does that suit Gonta more? I feel like I feel like maybe that we go for that for Gonta, and we can we can fuck it. I can try and do a Scotland for the robot. <laughs> How about that? Does that make does that does that sit well with people? Because like, I feel like that could work out. I feel like we might be able to do that. I feel like we could do that. Okay, let's see how this works out. I've never changed voices like this before, but fuck it. Get away with the Steve Irwin. <laughs> never. All right. Execution? Nailed it. <laughs> you got one word. If you do a crime, you get punished for it. That's like the most basic rule of society. But this is a killing game. So the punishment for murder is a bit more... Oh. Permanent. Hell yeah! Ooh, I wonder what kind of punishments there will be. Lots of blood and guts and brains, I bet. The kind of stuff that gives me a raging boner. Ooh, no. I don't want to see that. What? Bottom kid, you already have a boner. Got a rock hard rager! I don't like that. Oh, sorry. Well, guts and brain. <laughs> Ah, oh, man. Uh, Mother Honey just puked. Got a rock hard Stop. Yeah? Puke gives you a boat. I hate this. <laughs> you kids are adorable. Move on. What? <laughs> hey, wh what's the hell cute about that? Well, now. All right, I'm over this boring exposition. Thrills, Same. Chills, Let's chills. get to the heart pounding killing school semester. Let's get it started already. You have free ring. 
willing to murder however you like, too. Like bludgeoning or stabbing. Feeling cheap? Try strangulation. Feeling lazy? Try poisoning. Whether you shoot, burn, drown, blow up, crush, electrocute, or laugh your victim to death. Laugh your victim to death. <laughs> you can use any method you like to kill anybody you like, any way you like. At the Ultimate Academy for Gifted Juveniles, you will realize your murderous potential. Aye. 16 talented teenage prodigies, all competing for first place in a killing game. This is what it's all about. I do not want to do the part where it's all about the, I don't want the monokumas here. There's I no just like the murder. For an event like this than the Ultimate Academy. You got me. Killing school semester. It's like a game. <laughs> The risk. Oh no, my God! I keep doing your game. Risking our lives for some silly game is absurd. But, but it doesn't seem like it'll be boring, though. <gasps> that about how can you whether? <laughs> hey, how can you generate to be so calm? It, it can't be. It has to be a lie, right? It's a lie, right? A lie, more like fiction, like a story on TV. A scenario so removed from reality, we can hardly believe it's happening. It's no use. I don't want to be in a killing game. It's wrong. I, I'd never do that. <laughs> well, if you don't want to participate in the killing game, that's gonna be a problem. Because the killing game is the only reason you're here. What? Now then. Now then, unleash your talents and have a happy homicidal horrific hilarious. Killing game. Ah, oh, jeez. Wait, just a minute. Oh. No. Stop it. No matter what you say, we won't do it. That's wrong. We'll never participate in a killing game. I'll do it. Whatever you have planned, I'm not gonna let you get away with it. Um. Okay, then you shouldn't just rashly defy that thing. That's oh, nice. no, oh, I welcome her resistance. That kind of defiant spirit is important to the killing game. It's fun to watch the defiant ones eventually snap and get their hands dirty. Uh, what do you mean by that? I love it. Everyone loves that kind of brutality in a death game, especially me. It never gets old. It's so fun and entertaining that I can unbearably pump. I get unbearably pumped up. Plus, as the headmaster, it's my job to force you to do it. <laughs> ah, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> okay. <laughs> See, I like these games because they let me do a. <laughs> we stood in dumbfounded silence, surrounded by the squealing laughter of Monokuma and his cubs. Everything about the situation was so messed up. An academy surrounded by a giant wall, 16 ultimate students trapped inside. Mysterious stuffed bears and deadly weapons, and new friends forced to play some killing game. It all felt like something out of a sadistic work of fiction. A sadistic story no different from reality itself. And against my- well, that's okay. And against my will, I was now a character in that story. We just do- oh, 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 everyone shut up! It's the start, it's the start, it's the thing! <laughs> Fucking love intro bits. Kaede Akamatsu. Kibo. Kirumi Tojo. Rentaro Amani. <laughs> oh, it was Mami? I couldn't read it. It was behind my thing. Fuck me, this is it. Oh, you're too fast. Sumugi. Gonta. Tenko. I can do first. Kuchi, Kukichi. You fucking fuck that one up. Maki. Gorikiyo. Yumiko. Angie. <laughs> Ryoma. Miu. Kaito. Verdict. 
This fucking slaps. This fucking dead ass slaps. Slap, 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 slaps. Yes, baby!